Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Shinxy, and this is Let's Play Super Mario 64. In the last episode we started the snowy land, Cool Cool Mountain, and in this episode we'll hopefully finish it. Snowman's lost his head. This, I find annoying, but easy I suppose. I'm not really sure, because I have good runs of it and I have bad runs of it. There's bad runs where I just slide off before even talking to a snowball, and there's good runs where I do it perfectly first time. I need a good head on my shoulders. You know of anybody in need of a good body? Please, I'll follow you if you do. We don't even answer whether we do or not, and he ends up going first anyway. So it's not me really following. Anyway, you need to get in front of this guy. You need to. You need to slide down the entire thing as well. You can't just jump off, and you need to be in front of him. At least. Well, quite far in front of him as well. Hey, Mario's we're going backwards. Um, slide as far back as you can. And try and get up here. Okay. Yes, yes. No. He needs to hit that snowman's head. And really, you need to stand behind the snowman's head to do it. That was a bad run. I hit the snowball right at the beginning, so I'm going to try again. This is only a side of the video, so I should be safe. I should be safe. So, let's try again. I like that beginning. Da, 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 da. It's just, I just find it nice to listen to. A, a pleasant sound to the ears. Okay, now, let's hope I get a good start on this this time. Come on. Yes, I did. Okay, now, don't let the snowball catch up to you like last time. Um, well, actually, I failed last time, so don't do what I did last time. And um, make sure you're in front, as I say. You need to be in front for this, and it's so annoying. Okay, yeah, that's a much better run. Um, get behind the snowman's head. You can be in front of it, I suppose, but I've seen I've had more good luck if I'm behind it. It landed on me! It landed on me! That... I knew it was quite big and fat, but I didn't know it was a Snorlax like using body slam. Actually, actually, what it reminded me of just then, a Snorlax using body slam. That must hurt. Perfect! What a great new body! Here, this is a present for you, it's sure to warm you up. I don't know how a star can warm you up. Actually, yeah, it warps you out the level, other than the 100 coin star. And so you can go in Princess Peach's castle and warm up. Yeah, so it does warm you up, actually. I've only just made that discovery. A star warms you up. Huh. Okay, so, this next mission, what's it called? I can't remember. Where's this mission? Wool kicks will work. Ugh, I hate this mission. In the DS version, I find it incredibly hard, because um, you start off at Yo as Yoshi, and by this point, normally I don't have Mario yet, so you need to get the Mario cap, and then do exactly what I'm going to be doing now. And I find it incredibly hard. Even then, I'm not sure whether it is exactly the same as the um, DS version. Should be, but don't really know. It's easy as long as you know what to do. If you don't know what to do, then it's incredibly hard, I suppose. Um, it just so happened that I didn't know what to do at first. Well, that's actually like everyone, I suppose. Don't know what to do first time through. Hi, I'll throw the cannon for you. So, yeah. And then gets readied for you. And um, you can do this on almost any mission, I believe. So it's not as if you have to wait for this mission to do it. But then commit suicide. Only joking, you float in the air. And on that only happens in some places, so don't just do it anywhere hoping for it to happen. That's only some places. There, that happens to be one of the places. And get into the cannon. And this tree right here. Incredibly hard to aim, I think. Can't really remember ever doing it. But, oh, oh, that was only just. You can also use that cannon, that, that tree back there to um, do the same thing, really. Alright, that's the only way I know of, which is actually safe, which can get you down here. Dodge these guys, you can just jump over them. Don't accidentally jump on them, or you will go flying off, likely. Um, okay, arrow of coins, and a heart is here. That is vital, that heart, unless you do it first time. As I've said before, uh, you can wall jump. I 
as I've said before, wall jumping is quite easy, and that is the reason why that hurts there. I fail this quite often before I actually succeed. Now, I'm not sure whether... I'm not sure whether to put music to this and speed it up or what, because I'm not sure how fast it'll take me. Um, but for this jump here, you need to jump, double jump, and then... Wow, I did it! Okay, this is easy compared to that last wall jump there. You need to walk across here very slowly and jump to the star. Easy. As I say, only easy if you know what to do, but it's still easy. If you do know what to do, I suppose. Um, the strategy behind it is easy. The idea behind it is easy, I suppose. You've recovered 30 power stars. Now you can open the door with the big star, but before you move on, how is it going otherwise? Do you pound the two columns down? You didn't lose your hats, did you? If you did, you'll have to stop on the con con condor to get it back. They say that Bowser has sneaked out to the sea and into the underground. Have you finally cornered him? They don't expect you to get 30 stars before you've already battled Bowser once. They just don't expect it. So, um, that's actually hinting to the next Bowser location. Mm -hmm. 